Hello, Bitcoiners. Thank you very much. Hello. It's good to be with you. We are seeing huge trading volumes for the U.S. Bitcoin ETFs with BlackRock now over $560 million in the first hour of trading and number five of all ETFs. This is, of course, following Donald Trump's 2024 Bitcoin conference speech, rallying the troops. So here's the real deal. Bitcoin is the new global denominator for capital. Letting the other Bitcoin holders know now is the time. Well, I just keep it really simple when I when I think about uh, especially Bitcoin. It's that the real problem is the national debt that they can't solve it. So that's why rather than wring my fingers and crack my knuckles about the national debt. That's why for years, you know, Neil, you've been on my, you've been one of my side letting people saying buy silver, gold, and now I say buy Bitcoin because we need sound money. We want to fix the world, fix our money. So here is what Donald Trump is pledging to change for the crypto market in the US. Then we'll talk Solana news, Chainlink news, lower cap altcoins and more. But as the Bitcoin price ranges in seemingly bullish consolidation, number one, Donald Trump stated that on day one, he would fire Gary Gensler, appoint a new SEC chairman. And I was in the audience for this whole speech and it got such a pop, he actually stated it twice. On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman. I didn't know he was that unpopular. Well, I didn't know he was that unpopular. Let me say it again. <laughs> On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler. Whoa. Also, Donald Trump has pledged to create a U.S. government strategic national Bitcoin stockpile if elected. As you know, most of the Bitcoin currently held by the United States government was obtained through law enforcement action. I am announcing that if I am elected, it will be the policy of my administration, United States of America, to keep 100% of all the Bitcoin the U.S. government currently holds or acquires into the future. We'll keep 100%. I hope you do well, please. As you know, the U.S. government is one of the largest Bitcoin holders in the world due to confiscations. This will serve in effect as the core of the strategic national Bitcoin stockpile. Trump has promised to not sell. Also, Trump has promised to commute Bitcoin or Ross Albrecht's prison sentence. Today, I repeat my pledge to commute the sentence of Ross Albrecht to a sentence of time served. It's enough. Also, never create a central bank digital currency, CBDC. CBDC. There will never be a CBDC while I'm president of the United States. And I will always defend the right to self-custody. Yet have clear and concise stablecoin regulation. As part of our effort to provide regulatory clarity, we will create a framework to enable the safe and responsible expansion of stable, stable coins. Do you know what a stable coin is? Does anybody know? Please raise your hand. Allowing us to extend the dominance of the U.S. dollar to new frontiers all around the world. And just general, clear and concise crypto regulation in America. Upon taking office, I will immediately appoint a Bitcoin and crypto presidential advisory council. We will have regulations, but from now on, the rules will be written by people who love your industry, not hate your industry. People that want to make it clear and simple, straightforward and fair. People that want to see your industry thrive, not dive. I mean, Trump even promised that Bitcoin would go to the moon if elected. This is all common sense that we're talking about today. And Bitcoin and crypto will skyrocket like never before, even beyond your expectations. Give me your honest thoughts on this down below. Is this just a politician trying to get your vote? Or should we get excited that Trump has finally embraced Bitcoin?
you tell me. And honestly, on this channel, I always wanna give you all the information, not just be all one-sided or all the other sided, even though it is just one side at the moment, uh, seemingly listening to the crypto community, which I like. Meanwhile, I'm hearing from Democratic lawmakers that they're working with the VP on her platform. One congressman says the Kamala Harris campaign is going to reset their crypto strategy in a major way, Leslie. This is obviously an ongoing story. I encourage you to click subscribe, join the 1.48 million subscribers tuning in daily to learn about crypto. Also, we just released this awesome interview a few hours ago. If Donald Trump wins, crypto reacts like this. Linked down below. Check it out. And now let's talk altcoin news. But just understand that while in Nashville, while we get to speak on the main stage in front of thousands. One year from today, we'll all be back on this stage. Guys, let's make some headlines. Yeah, I'll we'll be back in Give us the Bitcoin prediction for next year's uh, Bitcoin conference. Hopefully the bull market continues. You can watch that full talk right here. Is Bitcoin still an asymmetric opportunity? As well as backstage in the whale area. Hello, Nashville. Woo! My name's Austin. This is my brother, Aaron. We're with Altcoin Daily. We talk to an audience of over 3 million subscribers across all social platforms. If you missed your opportunity to come out, hang out, we are doing this again now in September. Come hang out if you'll be at Token 2049. This will be the biggest side event in Singapore. It's called Web3 with Toby and Brent and Altcoin Daily. It's an in-person event at the Marquee in Marina Bay Sands, Singapore. And your entry gives you free drinks, world-class DJs, and special giveaways all night. Again, you do have to sign up to claim your spot. So link down below. Check it out. But the news today, starting with Solana. Solana now tops Ethereum in 24-hour DEX volume, active addresses, fees, and revenue generation. Meaning in all these fundamental metrics, Solana is starting to break out. Of course, market cap, as well as TVL, total value locked. Ethereum is still dominating. But these are the kind of metrics the mainstream won't share with you, sort of telling us that Solana could be incredibly mispriced, we go higher. And of course, the other side of the coin is, this is not taking into account the Ethereum L2s. But in Chainlink news, Chainlink integration adds transparency to 21 shares Ethereum ETF. So one of the major Ethereum ETF issuers have just integrated Chainlink, specifically their proof of reserve system, and how this affects you. This proof of reserve system will offer real-time reserve data and a reserve history available as a publicly verified feed that pulls data directly from the Coinbase exchange, meaning all the reserves we can now track publicly available on chain. And in AI altcoin news for Leica, exciting news, Leica AI, the first Web3 data layer, will soon be available on the chat GPT store. With over 50,000 plus users, Leica AI will be the first Web3 data layer on ChatGPT, giving 200 million plus users access to on-chain information and token analysis. Huge integration if you're bullish on the future of AI cryptocurrencies. You like this. And like always, see you tomorrow.